Novena in honor of our patron, Saint Dominic de Guzman. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Second day, Compassion for Humanity. Act of Contrition. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having I offended you, and I detest all my sins, because I fear the laws of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because I offended you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. Prayer for every day. O God, who raised up the world through the passion, death and resurrection of your Son, Grant that we who are gathered today in honor of St. Dominic may humble ourselves, renounce the things of this world, and to die to the pomps and vanities of life. Send us your Holy Spirit, that we may be one in truth and be one in love, so that like St. Dominic, your faithful servant, we may be living witnesses of your goodness. Truth and love in society fragmented by divisive conflicts and afflicted with widespread poverty. Help us, Saint Dominic, to seek always the glory of God, to direct all our affections, desires, and efforts in proclaiming the kingdom of God through our words, deeds, and lives. Help us to inculcate the gospel values as you did and as the many others Dominican saints did during their times. Be with us in our journey and always lead us to Jesus, who is our truth, our way, and our life. Amen. Please all stand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May kwento ko po sa inyo. Noong pumasok po ako sa pagmamadre o bilang relihiyosa, ang isa pong natatandaan kong turo sa amin ay ang Live in the presence of God. Mamuhay sa harapan ng Diyos. Kaya kailangan behave. Do the good. Do what is right. Do what is true. Kaya dahil sa pagsisikap na maging totoo, maging tama at mabuti, sinisikap din natin maging mapagmalasakit. Sinisikap natin makadamay lalo na sa mga nangangailangan. Sabi nga, uh, ang code, good, panig ka kay Lord, bad, or evil, sa kaaway ka, devil yun. Si Saint Dominic ay nagsikap na talagang makatulong sapagkat siya ay makadiyos, makatao, makalikasan, at makambansa. Sinikap niya maibigay kung ano meron siya. Lahat ng kanyang naitatago, lahat ng kanya kung ano meron siya, sinikap niya ito ma-share. Sinasabi na nagtatag siya ng charity center. Isang food distribution center. 
pati nga yung kanyang pinakakatago-tago at mahal na aklat dahil yun ay sulat kamay niya ay kanya din ipinagbili para maibigay sa, pag, sa mga nangangailangan. Memorize natin yung golden rule. Uh, do to others what you like others to do unto you. Do not do to others what you don't like others to do to you. Sana po natutupad natin ito. May isa pa, yung pondo ng Pinoy. Ano mang magaling, kahit na maliit, basta't malimit, papuntang langit. Magaganda po itong mga paalala sa atin. Tayo ba, tulad ni Saint Dominic, tulad ni Jesus, dahil sa turo ni Jesus, natutupad po ba natin ang ating pagbabahagi? Sharing blessings? Hindi po ba na isa pang pinapaalala sa atin, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Marami po tayong mga kaloob. Marami po tayong mga natanggap sa Diyos. Na share po ba natin ito? Na ibabahagi po ba natin ito? Lalo na po doon sa mga nangangailangan. Uh, ngayon, this Novena Day of St. Dominic reminds us to do the good we have learned from nursery or kindergarten to senior high. Yung ABC to quantity quality. From the different experiences in life as parents, as teachers, as men and women of this day, these days of pandemic time. Are we compassionate? Are we feeling what others need? Na, na ramdam po ba natin kung ano yung uh, pinagdaraanan? Uh, ramdam po ba natin kung ano ang pangangailangan ng ating kapwa? Hari nawa po, sa tulong ng biyaya ng Diyos, yan po ay ating natutupad. If God is number one in our life, then our compassion is genuine, real, true. Kung ang Diyos ang laging una, ang ating pong pagmamalasakit ay tunay, totoo, at buhay. In advance, a grace-filled feast day of St. Dominic. Our patron. Let us pray. O Holy Father, Saint Dominic, you have taken Jesus option for the poor your own choice, obtaining for us the grace to know the pains of this world. Allow it to touch us and to help us become not just a witness to it but to be a defender of the poor and to those who suffer, the voiceless, and the marginalized people. Our Novena Intentions For world leaders, that God may give them the grace to work together during this pandemic to promote justice and special care toward the poor and vulnerable. For Pope Francis and all church leaders, that God will give them the wisdom and courage they need as they lead the church during this pandemic. For all frontliners, that God will protect their health as they continually put themselves at risk in service to others. For those most susceptible to the coronavirus, that God will protect them from illness and surround them with the peace of knowing that they are loved and cared for beyond measure. For the sick, that they may experience God's healing power in body, mind, and spirit and be surrounded by love and support of others. For all the faithful, that God will give us the grace to know His 
presence in our everyday lives and to know Him as our constant companion in times of loneliness, our gladness in times of sufferings, and our sure hope in times of uncertainty. For all us, Dominicans, students, parents, administrators, faculty, and staff, that we may be inspired by the life and example of our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, to be agents of truth, love, and service to our brothers and sisters. In silence, let us offer to God the personal petitions we wish to obtain through the intercession of Saint Dominic. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. O oh, wonderful hope that you have given at the hour of our death, when you promise to be of more help to us after your death. Father, keep your word and aid us by your prayers. Your sanctity has shown too many signs in the bodies of afflicted, bringing to us the help of Christ and heal our souls in their illness and refining. Father, keep your word and aid us by your prayers. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Father, keep your word and aid us by your prayers. Pray for us, blessed Father Dominic that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, let the holiness and teaching of Saint Dominic come to the aid of your church. May he help us now with his prayers as he once inspired people by his preaching. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.